mission is to turn this into, well, from what you see here, here's my little submain for upstairs, the six mil submain, is to turn this from what you see here into a class joint. Wago will only send them in big boxes of whatever, 25. Otherwise they charge you 15 quid for splitting a box. And then they were sending them in dribs and drabs to Rob. So it's all right for them to do it. But anyway, that's quite cool, isn't it? We've been after, and then that'd be easy for the, you'll see why I'm doing this. So this board is, um, it's just a, the house is quite messy at the moment uh, what do I mean by messy it's messy because it's between first and second fix some of it's been it, it's it's neither one nor the other and I haven't done it and I don't know well for instance one double socket has I think five twin and earths coming out of it so how do I get this work and at the same time code it? Um, the answer is I don't connect any of it up. Him, I'm going to get rid of him, get rid of him and actually turn that into, that will be for the submain. This will go, everything off, line it out with aluminium. There's going to be a cupboard round here eventually and then trunk all these in i've got four inch galve trunking so that will be trunked in to my schneider uh, connection box and the connection box is what the other guys circuits will go into not my consumer unit so my consumer unit will be hardwired to a connection box in and the double stack board there then right 
Well, I started at nine, and then I made that mistake with cutting out the box wrongly, which set me back. But I've torn out the old stuff, and I've got the containment in place for my scheme. And I know what you're going to be asking is, why are you doing the scheme? Why? That, that new wire has been done by a tradesman from another country who come in and can't, well, can't come in at the moment. So it's kind of been left halfway done. And although they they copied, I've done the second floor, and they kind of copied the way I've done it there. Some of the chases aren't plumb, and there there are issues in some of the places. There aren't grommets, and the cable routing is a bit messy. No, this project has had a history of going two steps forward and a step back. And the plasterer who's in there at the moment uh, is replastering. I think in some cases it's been replastered once already. He, he, the Macedonians who came in and plastered didn't really have um, the type of skill set that you expect in walls in the UK. Put it like that. I mean, I thought it was okay, but to a plasterer's eye, it's actually Pol Polish this one, but to a plasterer's eye it, w it wasn't good enough. Anyway, all that is in means of illustration of, in by way of illustra- all that is by way of illustration of the fact that the project has leapt forward and gone back. And I don't want that to happen with the electrics that I put in. So when I put that new consumer unit in, I want it all to be self-contained and unassailable. forward and gone back and I don't want that to happen with the electrics that I put in so when I put that new consumer unit in I want it all to be self-contained and unassailable reason I don't want other electricians coming and redressing my consumer unit and fiddling with my consumer unit so I'm going to lock it off that's why I'm going to have the connection box next to it with the Vargo terminal block, DINRAIL terminal blocks. And the Macedonian electrician um, can come and connect his relevant circuits into the relevant capacity Vargo terminal block. So there'll be a number of, there'll be a couple of 10 mils which I need, one for the kitchen, one for the hot tub. There'll be six mils there available 
there'll be six mils for rings available so I'll bring in uh, a six mil radial from the consume unit and from the connection that can be that can be a ring a ring can be connected to that six mil um, and then we're going to have lighting suitable capacity for lighting as well 16 circuits in all and all be able to be connected without use of a screwdriver unfortunately I've bogged up a little bit I left my GoPro microphone somewhere yesterday and I don't know where it is maybe in the office um, I'm not wearing it so and then the other thing is the big bog is that I mounted everything at the wrong height I was too hasty so I've had to produce um, machine up some Delrin um, just to make sure that um, the cables don't aren't aren't exposed and the IP rating of the of the containment isn't compromised so I've blocked up a hole there which I went and did far too much of a hole an opening in there and then this which slides in there and will screw in bodge I know I know please please be gentle with me um, so I've just got to screw that in now and the IP rating is maintained in that corner yes I did make the almightiest great cock up with the cutting but now we're all back to um, what it should be um, I put some bonnet strip on the inside of that there and then this is all nice and smooth and um, I can't get to it at all the IP rating is intact it's a shame about that bit um, rough job still uh, I'm reasonably happy with it I'm not sure what I'm doing about this sub main here I may put um, just a nut, a nut on there and then a fly lead off it into the main earth terminal. Main earth terminal is going to be in here and then there's just going to be one thick 16mm cable from there into the earth bar here. Um, but uh, yeah, whether I terminate this outside the rest of the installation and give it its own um, non-RCD uh, main switch, we'll have to wait and see. I've got to come down here now with trunking to pick up the underfloor cables so a, a sort of S bend here or maybe diagonal if I can do it um, should be all right diagonal trunking you can see it um, yeah. I can't be faff to use the GoPro at the moment anymore it's such a faff turning the microphone on turning the microphone receiver on everything so um, let's see how this goes usually I'll use lip sync on this um, as far as I've gone, the connection box, I've used these standoffs to take the dim rail um, on the back plate of the connection box and it's just uh, fastened with M6 stainless uh, machine screws and the Wago terminal blocks will go on there, I'll demonstrate. And uh, so, they're nice uh, positive things, they unclip from the back Another reason for having these standoffs is that I can get my hand around the back to pull them off. There you go. And they click back on. The earth parts, as you'd expect, have more of a resistance because they've got all the contacting gubbins inside. Well, here we are with it in situ, and you can see that here, the clearance on the ways here is adequate for the largest of these. You have 20 mil of clearance there for the conductor to double over and make its way underneath the din rail out to the house. So when the lid's on, we're not forcing anything because this is the largest. Um, potentially 10 nine uh, 
neutral line, earth neutral, all the way down, without bothering to put it in an earth bar or a neutral bar, they'll, they'll each have their own three clips. And that way, I think that as the circuits are connected, the circuit can be tested one by one and connected by hand, um, easily tested, easily got out. The labelling, because of the size of that box, the labelling will be should be pretty good and uh, easy to follow. And all this is in order that nobody will touch the consume unit, and the consume unit up to the hard wiring up to the connection box will be able to be signed off with the bonding in place, with the earthing in place, with the ZE, the ZS, and the everything else will all be down there and then it will just be a minor work certificate for the extension of each of those um, circuits in the connection box. It will be a minor work certificate for each of those circuits because they are then just extending or addition or, ex or alteration of an existing circuit. So that's my plan and that is why um, we're going to the expense and trouble of what you see in this video. Uh, it's purely so that we can um, connect the unknown unknowns uh, by way of the minor work certificates after, after the event. Um, and I don't need to necessarily know everything about those circuits in order to be able to issue an electrical installation certificate for the board. I'm not really sure. You can come down separately and then turn it into the top there. The tails likewise will come down the way I can and bring them around. Well, I can just bring them down into here. Um, yeah, so come down into, into the main switch here.